What is up YouTube, Bunny Films here with a brand new video and we are back in the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2 and in today's video we are going to be going over all of the axes in the game and determining which axe is the best axe to use. So in front of me we have every single axe in the game except for the gold axe. I know the, game, the axe does not even exist anymore yet people still insist that it needs to be in the or it needs to be a part of this series obviously the gold axe is the was the best axe in the game uh because it was like an admin axe but it was removed because exploiters got it and whatever but today we'll be going over all of the legitimate axes in the game that you can get from other players or by doing little quests so the first one we'll be going over is the basic hatchet which is sold at Wood or Us right over here. We're actually going to go ahead and take a quick trip over there. And there are several axes actually sold at Wood or Us. Uh, but most of them are pretty, pretty bad. But especially if you're a new player, these can be pretty helpful because these are the only axes you can buy with money from a store. So if we head over here, we have the basic hatchet, which is the starter axe for all players. It costs 12 money. And then there are several other axes, there's just intermediate range, um, like 550 hardened axe. But then we get to the silver axe, which actually replaced the beta axe, which is the best axe in the store. It sells for $2,040, but it is a great axe, and especially for newer players. We're going to go ahead and demo that axe really quickly, and then we'll compare that to other axes as we uh, move along in the video. Alrighty, so right now I have the basic hatchet, or basic, uh, what is this, basic hatchet, yes that is. We're gonna go ahead and give this one chop. And as you can see, that is all of the damage it does. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the silver axe, which we go ahead and chop here. As you can see, it does a lot more damage. It also does have a faster chop speed, I believe. So overall, the silver axe is the best axe you can buy from Wood R Us. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the Rookery Axe, which is the best axe you can actually obtain in the game through the quest. Um, uh, there are other axes you can buy from other players, but this is the only axe you can get on your own. So we're going to go ahead and uh, discuss how you can get the Rookery Axe and how good it is. But before I do begin, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I have a little subscribe button I can press. There we go. So make sure you are subscribed for uh, the more Lumber Tycoon 2 content. Uh, we also do have a building competition in my Discord server. The link is in the description. And basically, you can win up to $1 million in Lumber Tycoon 2 money. The building competition ends September 10th, and there is a very fun building theme, which I highly re recommend checking out in the Discord server if you are interested in winning a lot of Lumber Tycoon 2 money. Anyways, the Rookery Axe is a fantastic axe for um, newer players. It does require about... I'd say around 10,000 money, especially because it does require the three items for the quest. We're going to go ahead and do the chop speed on, or uh, chop test on this. And as you can see, it's, it's about the same as the Silver Axe, except it does chop a lot faster, as you can tell from here. And we're going to go ahead and discuss how to get it. You do need to go to three store or two stores. Well, three stores, yes. So the first store is Wood R Us. We need to go ahead and buy a bag of sand. And this is not really a tutorial video, it's just going to be quick, um, basically give you a gist of how to do this. Uh, I don't know what these players, oh, maybe they're just checking out the blueprints. But we need to go ahead and buy the bag of sand. We're going to go ahead and do that. And this is just going to be super quick. I'm trying to go over all of the axes in one video, but there are a lot of, uh, no, I don't want to buy this, no. I'm, I, I don't want, <laughs> for noobs, I, I don't want to buy your conveyor, I just want to buy a bag of sand. So now that we bought the bag of sand for 1600 money, we're going to go ahead and load it into our car. And the next store we need to go to is Bob's Shack, where we can get a can of worms. And we also do have to go to Fancy Furnishings to get the light bulb. However, that store is closed at the nighttime, so sadly we'd have to wait until morning. So I'll go ahead and just speed things up. I'll go ahead and meet you guys at Bob's Shack once we do lower the bridge for 100 money. Alrighty, so now that we're at Bob's Shack, we're going to go ahead and buy the can of worms. Bob's Shack is just behind Fancy Furnishings, I'll give you a quick gist of where it is. But the can of worms is $3,200. It's a bit expensive, but it is required for this axe. And let's go ahead and pop that into our car. And we now have the bag of sand, the can of worm, or yeah, can of worms. And now, let's, we need to go ahead and get the light bulb, but, but we can't until the store opens. But Bob's Shack is located against the mountainside over here. Um, 
can't really see because it's nighttime, but over there is the bridge where my cursor is, and then Fancy Furnishings is also over there. So you just have to drive behind Fancy Furnishings, and you'll eventually find it. So next, we're going to go ahead and wait for Fancy Furnishings to open. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drive there, just so you guys know where I am at the moment. As you can see, if we just drive directly... Eh, there's no really any direction in this game. But if we drive directly towards the store, as you can see, it's right here. So, Bob Shack right there, Fancy Furnishings here. Just follow the road, and you can get back across to the bridge and back to your base. So, let's go ahead and wait. Alrighty, everyone. So, now the store is open, we can go ahead and buy our light bulb, and then we are ready to go on our quest. You do also need a stick of dynamite, which I forgot. It's at uh, Bob Shack. You can get that as well. I think it's like $220 uh, or 220 money. That's the currency in this game. So, light bulb, 2600 money. Let's buy it, and then we're going to go ahead and go to the snow biome, where we can go ahead and get ourselves our very own Rickery Axe. Uh, we do also have a few fans in the game, uh, one of them left, it was MaxInz311, we also have Alfred Jensen, and uh, Speed25614. Let's go ahead, we have to lower the bridge again, because we were waiting here for a bit of time. And I hope no one did destroy my little display of axes, because that took a long time. And I do owe credit to a few people who did actually help give a few axes. Uh, let me go ahead and pull their usernames up really quickly. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so yeah. Uh, my friend Umed, my ninja, and Danny, uh, Boy Righteous, I think that's his name. Uh, they helped get me a few axes that I didn't have, uh, such as the gingerbread axe. Uh, so huge thanks to them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and when we get back to our base, we just need to grab a stick of dynamite. Then we're going to head to the snow biome and get ourselves our very own Rookery Axe. And to get to the snow biome, we're going to go ahead and head this way. Spawn is over there next to Wood or Us, and this is located just about right here. And as you can see, it is blocked by a few boulders, which we can get out of the way using our stick of dynamite. You need to make sure that if you do have any friends with you, that I believe they have to whitelist you, uh, because uh, the dynamite will not explode near their property, so such as their cars. So if they're parked nearby, this won't explode, so they just got to whitelist you. Oh, okay, let's go in. So you want to get far away from this. It will throw a few boulders at you. And if you are too close to the explosion radius, you will die. Or just take damage in general. But now that the boulders are cleared, we have a few floating ones. That is pretty cool. And we're going to go ahead. And to get to the secretive snow den, that's what it's called. Not Snowden the hacker. Or I don't know who he is. But a snow den. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead. Head over here. And then you turn sharp right. And as you can see, where is it? Oh yeah, there's a little eagle painted on the mountainside. So to get down there, all you have to do is find the hatch, open it up, pop down here, and as you can see, here is the snow den. There are three NPCs, you can't really do anything with them, but as you can see, there are three plates, all of which have a very specific use. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab the three boxes. You want to throw them down the hatch while the, while the hatch is open. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get all of them out of the truck at first. There we go. And we'll go ahead and press E to open. Drop, drop, and drop. There we go. And let's get in as well. And it will slowly slide down this little ramp. And now there are specific locations where you do have to put these items. Uh, there are little posters around the world where you can actually see which item goes where. But if you're just wanting to get it out of the way, you can just watch this video. But the bag of sand goes on the middle plate. Or not middle, but like this one right here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the names of these NPCs. I know they're significant Roblox users, but I don't know who they are. The light bulb goes over here by RDC2015 guy. And then the beans of, or the can of gummy worms. I think that is, goes here. And as you can see, look at this. We have ourselves a Rookery Axe. So it descends from the ceiling. Pretty awesome. And as you can see, something really cool about this is that it floats. Like, look. So we're going to go ahead and just like... Let's, it, it, this is super fun to do. Uh, just don't lose the axe. That's the only thing. But you can make it like fly around. <laughs> And this is one of my most favorite things to do with this axe. It's just a fun little Easter, well, not an Easter egg. It's just like part of the game, basically. Just don't want to like throw the axe up, or else it'll just go super high. But oh, whoops! Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we can do that. Nah, we can't. So we're gonna go ahead and just pick it up. And as you can see, we have ourselves a Rookery Axe. And one cool thing about this snow den is that um, on Halloween, you can actually get yourself an End Times Axe, which is going to be another axe we will talk about later in this video. 
But next we're going to go ahead and discuss the Beta Axe and the Alpha Axe. So next up right here we have the Alpha Axe and the Beta Axe. The Beta Axe was the uh, was available during the Beta phase of the game, and the Alpha Axe was available during the Alpha phase. They used to, these axes, or especially the Alpha Axe, used to sell for so much money in game. However, due to duplication, it does not anymore. Uh, but these axes are just like novelty items. They're not actually like fantastic axes to use. But we can go ahead and chop right now. It has a great, it has fast chop speed, but it just does not compare to the Rookery Axe. Next, we have the Alpha Axe. Same thing. It's, it has a moderate uh, chop speed, but at the same time, the Rookery Axe is still a lot better. Uh, these axes cannot be purchased in game anymore from any of the stores. The only place you can get it are from other players uh, in game. You have to trade with them, which can be a bit risky, especially because some people are scammers, so beware of that. Uh, same with the beta axe. Uh, you can only get that from other players. These used to be sold. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. No, 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 no. Just stay still. Okay. Because if that falls, it's going to be like dominoes and all my other axes are going to fall. But both of these axes were sold at Wood or Us. And at one point, the uh, box or the axe's box was at... Or you could see the axe underneath the store, but it just fell into the void. So you couldn't really do anything with that. Also, this axe, can you, like, stand upright, please? Thank you. So, uh, that's about it for the Alpha Axe, but the next axe is the Fire Axe. This axe was um, unwrapped from the Fiery Gift of Lumber, which was in stores during the 2015 Christmas event. Uh, it is the um, best to use this axe for harvesting lava wood, and it can only be purchased from other players. I don't think I have one of the presents with me um, at, on this base. Uh, but it was a fiery present looking thing, so it, should, it, w it wouldn't be too hard to tell which present it was. But we're going to go ahead and test this axe out. It does have a very unique property, which is... What? Oh, wait. Hold on. Never mind. Uh, which is that it chops, uh, it chops lava wood very well. We're going to go ahead and chop this really quickly. As you can see, not much damage. So the real, uh, the real use for this axe is chopping lava wood, which we're going to go ahead and do. Which uh, and lava wood grows on top of the volcano. The process of getting up there is a bit risky. Um, you do have a chance of dying because of boulders inside of the volcano could push you over the edge. And I've had a lot of very angry fans. Well, not fans, just haters actually. Uh, a lot of haters because they've died in the volcano, and supposedly that's my fault because I did not give them like enough guidance I, I don't know i don't know the reasoning but supposedly i've killed a lot of people in the volcano so to get to the volcano on the brighter side we're gonna go ahead and head up this little um road that goes up the mountainside all the way up to the entrance of the volcano so the volcano like i said very risky uh you have a chance of dying so if you do uh, you will lose your axe so you got to get used to this maybe do a few um driving runs before you actually bring any items up just to make sure you can get to the top uh even um even experienced players like myself sometimes still get hit by boulders and die but what i like to do is i like to stay towards the edge of the volcano this is probably one of the most risky parts here you want to go ahead and just try to avoid where the boulders are coming out and cross over like this and as you can see we're at the top and we have lava wood and I believe lava wood is the best uh, wood in the game for selling. I know if I get any of these facts wrong, people are going to correct me for years in the comments section. It happens with all my other videos. So I apologize if I don't have my lumber knowledge up to date. But as you can see, this is the best axe for chopping lava wood. It chops super quickly and does the most damage to it. I believe it does even more than the many axe. But as you can see, great for chopping lava wood. Another tip for lava wood, uh, besides this video, just throw it over the edge and you can get it at the bottom of the volcano. But that's it for the fire axe. Uh, you can only get it from other players, like I said, because it was only available in the 2015 Christmas present. But let's go ahead, head back to our base, and get on to the next axe, which is the... Oh, it's the end times axe. That's going to be fun. Alrighty, everyone. The next axe is the End Times Axe, which has a very unique box. Um, it was cheated into the game, and for whatever reason, the developer has not removed it. But as you can see, it says, I cheated for this box. No, I did not cheat. Someone gave it to me because, I mean, I, I get all of my stuff from other players because 
that's just a perk of being a YouTuber. But uh, the End Times Axe is a great axe. It's personally my favorite axe in, well, not most, it was my favorite axe in the game because it does have a great chop speed. As you can see, I don't know how it does compare to the Rookery Axe, but this is the only axe that can be used to chop the um, End Times Wood. So we're going to go ahead and spawn in a pickup truck really quickly. Uh, in End Times Wood, oh, we have to do this really quickly. There we go. Hello. Thank you. Let's see. So Alfred Jensen's giving me an eyeball. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use this to go to the End Times Biome. And... Um, I'll show you guys how to do it really quickly and sometimes there uh, there's only like one end times tree per uh, server so you do have to keep that in mind we're gonna go ahead and open this box up let's just hope that does not glitch out because it is technically his but I'm on whitelist so to get to the end times biome we're gonna go ahead and head over here and sadly I won't be able to do all of the axes in one video it's gonna be a two-part uh, series basically uh, just because this is already 15 minutes and we're, we're only like halfway done. So, we're going to go ahead and head over to the little um, toll booth. And to get into the biome, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, to get an eyeball, I forgot to explain that, you have to buy it from other players. It was sold uh, during like a limited edition sale in the game. I, I believe it was for Halloween. It was sold in Bob Shack. Um, however, right now, it was sold for $400,000, but right now it's still like an over-duplicated item, uh, because, surprise, surprise, everything is in this game. So, we're gonna go ahead, try to get this eyeball. You have to get inside the toll booth. Um, it's difficult, but it's uh, certainly possible. And there is a easier way you can do this. I don't want to lose the eyeball, so we're gonna set it here for now. Uh, what you can do is you can actually chop a part of the tree and put it behind the, um, or in between the person in the glass, and that way it's a bit easier to get the eyeball, um, the eyeball in the position it needs to be in. Let's go ahead and chop here, actually. And the end times axe actually does chop other trees. That's uh, something unique about it, I think in my opinion, uh, but it's the only axe that can chop the end time street. So we'll see if it is in the server. Uh, chances are it's not. Uh, usually private servers are the best place to actually get it. Um, but let's go ahead and try to get this lined up. There we go. Hop out of here, stuck in between him and the ceiling. And to, let's see, talk to him. I'll lower this for $100, it's a deal. And he says, wow, thanks. So that means he does recognize the eyeball is there. The eyeball will vanish eventually. Uh, you can't pick it up or interact with it anymore. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. You head. You wanna head over to the bridge and it will actually do a very cool thing. Someone lost their, um, I think that's Goldwood. Um, let's see, in the chat, if you call that video, I was inspired by your axe collection. Spidey face, hi, hi, oh, oops, okay. So this bridge actually goes under the water, and supposedly there are a few bugs with this uh, recently. People have been complaining that they die, and then, like, their car starts floating. I don't really know what to say about that. Oh, oh, my goodness. why is my... I literally have no control over my car. I think we'll be fine. Okay, we're not going to be fine. Lost my car. I don't... I, I... For whatever reason, like, it was like I was stuck going back. But my car is going to fall into an endless void, sadly. Um, but no biggie. We're going to go ahead. And if we go over here, uh, something also really cool you can do over here is you can do this. Like, Whee! You can go pretty high up. You can also get on top of the bridge sometimes. Uh, but you do want to be careful because if you do die, well, I think you can die and you don't lose anything. But hop down here. Sadly, the end times tree has already been taken from the server. That is why I do recommend doing this in a private server. But usually the tree is over there. You have to go along this narrow stretch of like road or mountain. or I don't know what it is. Uh, but it's a bit difficult to do. So I like again, like I said again, do this in a private server because you do have a 100% chance of having an end times tree. Whereas uh, public servers, whoa. Okay. I think that is also a bug. Oh, goodness. Uh, yes, it is supposed to teleport you to the safari hole, but it is not. I didn't even jump in the hole. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead, head back to our base, and we'll do one more axe before we do conclude today's video. Alrighty, everyone. And the last axe in today's video is the candy cane axe. So this axe was um, available during the 2016 Christmas event. It was in the sweet gift, which uh, looks like 
uh, actually, yeah, it's this present right here. And when you open this present, it gives you this boxed axe. I don't know how that box fits in there, but somehow it does. But if we look and try chopping this wood, it doesn't work. So the candy cane axe has uh, something unique about it. Basically, it does not chop any wood. I believe players have tried every single wood in the game, but sadly, it just does not chop anything. But according to Heath Haskins, aka Code Prime 8, uh, he said that uh, Defaultio told him something about how the candy cane axe has some secret thing about it that no one knows about. So maybe eventually someone will figure it out, but at the moment, there's no use for this axe. It is, it is a bit decorative. But like I said, you cannot chop wood with it. It was rumored that, or it was, um, uh, what? Assumed that you could actually chop wood in the candy cane biome, which never came. It was, um, actually just the ice wood biome. Uh, but that's just, uh, this axe doesn't really have any use besides decoration. But it does have that, um, secret supposedly, but no one knows about it. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, press the like button. Also, stay tuned for part two, where we'll be, we will be going over the bees axe, chicken axe, amber axe, mini axe, gingerbread axe, and the bird axe, which are all very good axes. I believe all these are, a lot of these axes are better than these, and they all have pretty unique, um, abilities. So, we'll stay, uh, stay tuned for that. Should be out in a few days, um, but other than that, have a fantastic day. Make sure to join the Discord server for the building competition. Uh, we have a building theme, which is just summer. Just build something in Lumber Tycoon 2 and submit it, and you can win up to $1 million in lumber money. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more lumber content coming on the way. We're super close to uh, 60,000 subscribers. We're almost there to 100,000. But that is it, guys. Have a great day. Wash your hands. Stay safe. And I hope to catch you in my game. Join me at Bunny Films 1. And that's all. Have a great day and goodbye.